What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversic from Pixel Feed here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to optimize your product pages in Shopify in order to get more sales for your store. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go. I see people all the time going into all these Facebook groups that are related to like Facebook advertising and stuff like that, complaining about how they learn everything about Facebook ads and how Facebook ads don't work and all this stuff. And then they, they don't get why their stores are not getting conversions. And then they post a link to their store and you go to their store and it's not optimized at all. All right. I've said this many times in this channel, in order for you to get sales in your Shopify store, you have to optimize it for conversions. Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever else you're using to run traffic that is 50% of the equation. If your store is not optimized to convert and convert that traffic into sales, you're never going to make money with Facebook ads, okay? So what I, what I went ahead and did, I went ahead and pulled up, you know, some big uh, websites here, big companies, because I want you to get in the mindset that before you launch a store or if you already have a store, you have to look into what the big companies are doing. These are multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar companies that pay a lot of money to test and to optimize their websites for the best conversions. And when you look at them, you're going to start to see a pattern of the same things. So I'm going to start with my least favorites uh, and I'm going to walk my way through like the best ones and what to take a look at when you're doing the research. So let's say I was opening a store uh, for video games. I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell video games. So I go to the product page. This is Best Buy right here, as you guys can see. And I'm looking at the product page, right? And what am I looking at here? Okay, they have the main image is an image of the product itself, the casing, the product right in your face. And then they show, you know, cut scenes from the video game. So if this was a shirt, just think about it as a shirt that you're showing different angles of the shirt. What's the second thing that I noticed right away? They have the reviews widget right at the top, right underneath the title of the item, right? And they're being very specific. This is for PlayStation 4 with the name of the title, okay? Then you have your reviews. Uh, notice that the stars are yellow, okay? Yellow, why? Because they stand out, not only because Best Buy has yellow in their logo, okay? What else do you, do you see here? They show you the amount of reviews, right? And they're showing you here as well that they're answering questions for you. So it's probably like your most frequently asked questions, okay? Then they have the price here. They want to get rid of objections. So they put price match guarantee right at the top. So if you're looking around, if you're shopping around, they're letting you know, hey, don't even bother going anywhere else. Just buy it from us. And if you see it somewhere else for cheaper, we'll match the price for you, okay? Uh, the other thing here, uh, free shipping. They let you know that the free shipping is available. Add to cart again is yellow. Um, you know, I could sit here and, and, and lie to you guys. It was like, well, it stands out. Well, yeah, it stands out, but also the logo has yellow in it. So if I had to guess whoever designed this, it's like, oh, let's make it all look cool like the, the colors of the brand, right? Then to the right, what do we have? Upsells. People ultimately bought. So they're giving you ideas of other stuff to buy. Okay. Uh, you can save your product, you can compare. So take notice of this thing. So if I was gonna open a video game store, I'm looking at the product page and how these big, big companies are approaching on how to sell the product. And I scroll down, uh, notice how they have a drop down menu for everything. So overview is the description, the features, right? Uh, specifications, you know, all that stuff for video games. I don't even know what that is. And then the reviews, which are super important, right? So make sure you take a look at that. Question and answers, frequently asked questions. You can search the questions, you can see that. So if you have a, if you have a, a product where you know you've been selling for a while or you know what the questions are and you did the research, the, the, the people, the questions that people ask the most, throw that on a drop down menu. So you answer those questions right off the bat. Now notice the upsell right here, frequently bought together and they, they basically give you the choice of adding three items to the cart. So what is, what is stopping you from doing this on your store? There's plenty of apps to let you do this, okay? More upsells people also bought. Most, most viewed sponsored products, 14 items. Look at that. They're just trying to sell you everything they can. Upsell, 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 
right? And then, you know, more sponsored products. It's all about sales, right? So let's go now to a company that specifically sells only video games or video games, uh, video games uh, consoles and accessories. So notice one thing. Are you going to start? Are you seeing the pattern already? So what do we have here? The name, the specific platform, okay? The reviews, again, they're in a color that stand out. They're doing it to match the brand, so it's red. But see how it stands out from everything else? Price, big, bold letters, right? Uh, they don't have one day, well, choose one day shipping. I guess it's not free, okay? Look, here's an upsell. Uh, this is called an order bump because it's just one little click. So that's an order bump, okay? You put it right above um, the pre-order button, right? So this will be the add to cart, same thing. Uh, here's a little upsell. You might also need a, an extra controller. Why not? Add to cart, right? But notice how this add to cart is not full on red like the pre-order button because they want you to take action here first this is like a okay well if if i don't get you here i want to get you here type of deal okay all right so you got that then you scroll down once again you have your product description the game comes with the physical items more descriptions then you have upsell upsell questions and answers so you, you notice that you, you guys are noticing that so we have frequently asked questions on the product page frequently asked questions on the product page okay so you, you guys are seeing the theme here okay let's go to a company like amazon all right so amazon what do you notice in amazon again the name ps4 the stars right you have the stars with the ratings right they're yellow so they stand out uh, also you know amazon has that 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 yellow orange uh theme going on but notice this Amazon's choice, right? So if you have a store and your store is uh, video games are us, you can put a little batch that says video games are us choice. What's stopping you from doing that? You can do that. It could be your choice. That gives it more legitimacy, makes it legit. Look at the price. Notice it's in red. So red means it's on sale. It, it gives the, the psychological trick of thinking that the product is in sale so usually what i do i put the 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 sell price in red and then the real price in black or gray so let's say it was 70 i will put 70 real big right here and then 40 44 as the sell price right now notice what amazon does and this is why amazon they're geniuses compared to these two they're they're slacking these are slacking right here only 10 left in stock order soon right in red what is that my friends that is scarcity right they want you to think that you have no choice but to buy it now because if you don't buy it now you, they're going to run out and you're going to miss out on it okay what do we have here a sponsored ad <laughs> like you know it's another ad to get you to buy something else in case you don't you don't pull the trigger over here right away right again uh by now it's orange it's a darker color because they want you to go for that one before add to cart they want you to take action so if you notice here the dark orange stands out more than the light orange because by now it's just one click and boom you buy it right again did you notice this pattern again frequently bought together what is this an upsell so they make the combo right here all three selected ready to go add all three to cart total price 116.43 once again it's red because they want you to think you're getting a fantastic deal okay scroll down there's sponsored products customer customers who view this item also view so they're making you think hey these people are just like you they have the same interest so you might want to check these out if you don't buy from here or here okay this is like the the last chance to get you to buy if you're scrolling down then again you scroll down you're gonna have the features the product information uh another sponsor upsell right here just in case you know trying to get your attention to pull the trigger right away and then customer questions and answers they want to get rid of your objections they want to answer your questions right away so there's no objections whatsoever and then of course at the bottom you got all the reviews okay that's great and all you probably think to yourself well christian those are big huge corporations how am i going to do all that listen you can do it all on shopify so let's go to one of my other favorites etsy okay now etsy yeah it's a big platform but check it out what do we have what do we have here they have to say the stars right here you know for the for the vendor like this dude is legit he does great you know or she and to have six stars so think of that as the reviews right 
only one shop review in this one unfortunately but you guys get the idea so it's the product right here with the reviews right underneath big add to cart button uh it's black because it goes with the theme of the store it's etsy and then scarcity low in stock right 2441 then they're telling you don't miss out there's only five available and three other people have this and this is my favorite and three other people have this in their cart right now do you guys know how powerful that little line is right there that is so powerful because if i was buying and i'm in a rush to get whatever and i'm like thinking about it and i'm like not sure if i'm gonna do it and i see all of a sudden there's only five available and three of them people have it in their cart right now oh wow i need to buy this right now i need to pull the trigger right and notice how big the add to cart button in it, button is and then you go down then you have the description like you usually do estimated delivery ready to ship in one to three days get shipping costs you know all that good stuff all right so you're probably asking yourself well how do i do that well there's plenty of apps in the shopify store that does that so for example the reviews uh you know with the with the pictures and the you know at the bottom when you see the carousel that's called looks right this is my favorite when it comes to uh to doing that so you scroll all the way down it's gonna happen you watch the little video it'll show you that um let's say i mean i just said looks because i know on top of my head but let's say uh drop down um menu product page let's see what comes up you gotta search you gotta do some research right so drag and drop uh bulk edit combine data get custom mega menu drop drag and drop so this is probably something that will work for us or the mega menu because you want to have that menu right so let's see do 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 will this work okay so check this out you have all these input fields you have your scarcity right here hot deals all that stuff you can add eh, i don't know about that i do like the scarcity uh countdown on there but this is not what i was looking for mega menu this is more for um let's see let's look for product page optimization let's just say product page see what comes up you guys gotta do research you gotta look best fit size charts product description writing free tabs product ta oh there you go product page tabs that's probably what we're looking for okay so yeah so there you go see you can add your description information reviews shipping so that's how you add those drop down menus on your product page so there you go i just found an app that does that all right let's see there's another one right here uh no i don't know about this one but see all you have to do is just search for it get creative right so what else did we see on there upsells let's do upsells so what do we have for upsells product bundle upsells guys and i'm doing this on the fly because i'm tired of seeing all these posts on, on freaking uh groups about people complaining and they don't know how to do upsells and stuff like that so uh product page hold on no we want product page upsells product zip if i know bundle upsell let's see that should be it yeah so there it is bundle see you can do the three items and then you put the price and add it to cart how cool is that it's right there boom see all it takes a little bit of imagination guys go look at big multi-billion dollar corporations in your niche and see what they're doing on their product pages if you find out what they're doing your rear beers engineer it and put it in your page in your store in your product page i promise you your conversions are going to go through the roof i promise you don't be lazy it just takes a little bit of research so we got that i show you the reviews you can add people can add the, the the you know looks will do that for you on the product page so there you go that's how you do it guys if you like that video make sure to check out the links in the description below in order to support the channel and if you want to keep taking your digital marketing game to the next level whether it's shopify or facebook ads make sure to click one of the boxes right above me keep learning keep moving on and i'll see you in the next video.